And welcome to Previewed with Adam and Jay. I'm Adam. And I'm Jay. Welcome to day 11 of the 12 days of Switch Miss. Today, Woo! we're going to react, review, and then riff off of the trailer for My Santa. My Santa. It's for when you drink too much eggnog and then you have a little bit too of uh, upset the stomach. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a chug it like a little My Santa. Yeah. And every calms everything down. Yeah. It's when people start, it's like what you need when people start talking politics at Christmas Eve dinner. It's like, oh, oh, I need a little My Santa. Oh, My Santa. It's about um, a person who captured Santa like a Pokemon and has to battle all of the other holiday mm. mascots. Santa, I choose you. Use Christmas cheer. Christmas cheer, <laughs> cheer, cheer, cheer. <laughs> and like, it's like straight up to Easter Bunny. Mm -hmm. Has scyther arms. <laughs> <laughs> For no reason. <laughs> what the? Ah, the Easter Bunny is fearsome. It's bug type. Why? <laughs> no one knows. <laughs> My Santa. My Santa. It's the new hit toy for this Christmas season. Uh, it's from the same line as uh, My Buddy. Oh. My Santa. My Santa. Wherever I go, he's gonna go. My Santa. My Santa. My Santa and me. Overalls. Wow, really? I did pretty good. That was okay. I am so sick of this time of year. Me For too. Jen, Me Christmas too. is a bummer. Everyone's all happy and I'm lonely. Why does your mommy like Christmas like us? For Chris, Christmas <gasps> is a calling. Uh, my name's Chris. As in Chris Kringle, right? You're the son of Santa Claus. Merry Christmas, Terry! everybody! Oh, 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 oh. You have got to find a woman Larry? who is 100% into Christmas. Your mom doesn't care about Christmas. But what I remember about Christmas is being left with an infant when my husband walked out on us. That was the last present my mom gave me before she died. We have Christmas romance. You're not falling for humbug mommy, are you? You can never stop opening yourself up to the chance of magic coming into your life. There's no magic, Chris. Oh, there's magic. You just don't see it yet. Oh. Reveals an unexpected truth. I think I'm falling in love with you. I'm in love with you, too. You made me ready to finally take over for my dad and become Santa myself, and I want you to come with me that drives them apart. You're wasting my time on another guy who can't grow up, who thinks he's the son of Santa Claus. She was the one and I blew it. Only a Christmas miracle. Why don't you believe Chris is the real Santa? Chris just pretends to be Santa. So I believe in Chris, huh? Can bring them back together. A bunch of Christmas presents suddenly appeared under the Christmas tree. It has your name on it. Marvista Entertainment presents Mira Armstrong, Matthew Lawrence, Julie Brown, and Jim O'Hare. I believe, I believe in the Christmas spirit and I believe in you. In my Santa. Save some, uh, some of the really some of the cream of the crop for the end of the you know the, end of the, here. the past two have been you know a couple of a couple of left jabs that caught you <laughs> unawares you know like you, we kind of got we kind of got uh, just a couple of quick jabs to the face and we're kind of buzzing a little bit mm -hmm. and then this one is just the, the uppercut right into the gut just boom <laughs> we weren't expecting because you were a little fuzzy up top and. My biggest issue with this, and it's the same issue that I had with a couple of the other ones, is he Santa? Or is he not Santa? They don't fully explain what he is and what he does. He's just there, and he happens to, like, really be into the Christmas spirit. Is Jim O'Hare supposed to be Santa? Or they just like own a mall and they like being the Santas there. What? Oh. What is, it, is this movie oh, even about? I, I, 
So you're you're saying that because since we saw that the ornament that was so rudely destroyed back in the day. Was and, what a, and what a cut to that shot, huh? <laughs> wow. Just subtle. Subtle! Mm. Awkward slow-mo, weird black thing out of nowhere. Oh, I assume boy. it's a duffel bag. Just like, why'd you hate Christmas? My mom died on Christmas. What else happened? My husband left me on Christmas. Like, oh, geez. What, that what still happens on Christmas. I still like Christmas. It's, now, here's the thing. Uh, it's not Christmas's fault that it, your life's bad. It is not Christmas's fault, but I understand where her motivation is coming from. Because when bad things happen around Christmas... You're a Grinch, aren't you? No. You're like a recovering Grinch. I, maybe a little bit. Because <laughs> when bad things happen around Christmas, they're amplified because it's supposed to be such a happy season and everyone else is really happy. Ah. And you have going through something so traumatic. it's our fault for having high expectations. No, no, no. Is what you're saying. Not at all. Yeah. It's just that it's also a it's an annual event that you really can remember. Like, oh, this is the time when this X bad thing happened to me. Okay, that's fair. Because everyone else is celebrating the season. Like, if you get dumped in like if you have a really really bad breakup in like June. That's much easier to heal Man. over time because yeah. random day in June, like, oh, I'm on vacation doing oh, whatever. Oh, it's Pentecost again. Oh, no. It's yeah. a very, very wildly specific uh, Protestant holiday. But if you get broken up with uh, around Christmas time and it's really super bad, it ruins that holiday for that year. And yeah. it also kind of reminds yourself years to go, come of like, oh, yeah, this is, this is the time that... I was like this because that really bad breakup happened. Yep. Which is exactly what I went through 17 years ago. I had my really bad breakup two weeks before Christmas. And it wrecked me. And it wrecked Christmas. And for the next like five Christmases, it was like, you know, it wasn't horrible. But it's like, oh, yeah, I, I remember. Yeah, that, that pain is still a little fresh because you're like, oh, yeah. this is. What I remember Christmas you telling me does. about that breakup. That was the breakup that you went on top of the mountain over the tiny little town. Yeah. Bought that dog. And like it, you'd hear them singing in the town and you just like look down and frown at them. You know? <laughs> yeah, I remember that. With my telescope? Yeah, but then mm -hmm. yeah, but then you got over it, your heart grew three sizes, and then here we are. It took like 30 years. I don't know how you got that dog to pull that sled though. That was amazing. <laughs> Very strong. That was a Christmas miracle. Strong haunches. <laughs> Never say that again. <laughs> I don't know. I just saw <laughs> Strong Haunch friend. is not a word you get to say. I don't know. <laughs> it's too clinical. It's too clinical. I don't like it. You say haunch like you're like, yes, if I were to butcher the meat, that's exactly where I would go first. Yeah. I don't know. Strong you haunches. the haunch line. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ah, no. Uh-uh. <laughs> no. No, no. You know, you know what's some roast Christmas haunch, Jay? <laughs> For Christmas dinner? It's a last tradition. We don't Delicious do haunch. Ah, who? Yes, every year we we find we hide an ornament on the tree, and whoever finds the ornament is, a, is gets to carve the haunch. We yes, it's don't, an old last tradition. We don't do. Ham. I just imagine your dad like cleaning an old gun with a huge bushy mustache. Like, yes, it's Christmas time once again, where we feast on haunch and drink from horns of mead. Merry haunchmas, everyone. <laughs> I know it's Christmas, but it's Christmas to me. Yes, yeah, so we'll go hunting for a beast, and we shall haunt. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. After he's done cleaning his monocle? Exactly. Yes. It's, it's the last tradition. Call the hounds. <laughs> yes. For they feast as well on Christmas Day. Yeah, they get the flanks. Some men <laughs> feast on goose. <laughs> Some on turkey. Peafowl. But we... What, what 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 was this what, movie got? This I was pretty bad. This dude. is really bad. This is a bad one. It had a Lawrence in it too, and I like it. It did have a Lawrence in it. I like them. It was a baby Lawrence. Well, yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody, what do you think of my Santa? Also, what do you guys eat for Christmas dinner? You have Christmas dinner. <laughs> yeah. or, or Hanukkah dinner or Kwanzaa dinner. Let us know in the comments below or hop on Discord. The link's down below. Jay and I were talking to all a bunch of a really cool nerd people uh, who watch our channel. They don't, you're assuming they're nerds. They're, not everybody's There's nerd a lot of nerdy comments going on. We're talking about lots of fun stuff.
Yeah, you should join us. It's a lot of fun. Uh, the link's down below in the comment section. Also, like, subscribe, and hit that jingle bell. Do that YouTube that you do so well. Guacamole's extra, you maybe Santas. Oh, I, th I thought you were going to go haunch again. No, I can't. we mind haunch pretty hard. I just wanted to go back to whether or not he's actually... I, I don't think he is Santa. I think he just he really likes Christmas. Yeah, I don't know, man. So they made the presents... I don't know. What do you want? Yuck. Yeah. <laughs> one more movie! One more day! One more! One more day! Uh, other trailer reactions to Mar Vista and other associated Christmas movies will be popping up soon. Please watch those. We would appreciate it as much as we appreciate you for watching this one. We'll see you guys tomorrow for the final day of Switchmas! On the twelfth day of Switchmas, Adam Lash brought to me one bad trailer. <laughs> and uh, I did it wrong. All right. Yeah, you went forward. Well, we can try again tomorrow. Dang it! <laughs> we'll see you guys then. Bye.